The Raceway and Western Fair District will be spreading some added holiday cheer this season. On Sunday, December 20th, eight of the province's top drivers will descend on London's Half Mile Oval in a head-to-head -head showdown, all in support of Toys for Tots. Four of London's best and four of the best from Woodbine Mohawk Park will battle it out. But in the spirit of the season, all driving fees will go to support children in need. The first ever Drivers Holiday Challenge at the Raceway, Sunday, December 20th on COSA TV. Visit westernfairdistrict.com for details. Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the Raceway at Western Fair District, London, Ontario's Half Mile Harness Racing Action. I'm your track announcer, Shannon Sugar Doyle, with you. Uh, setting up the action for this evening. I come in a little bit early. I wanted to check out the track. You know, we've had some weather, some winter weather over the last few days. Uh, Monday, we had the rain changing over to snow. And then uh, yesterday, I did a whole lot of shoveling. It was uh, heavy and wet snow that uh, fell through the night uh, Monday and into Tuesday. Track crew did a fabulous job getting the track uh, set for the racing action this evening. We've got 12 races. I believe the track condition is going to be fast. I know there was some material put down. Again, a wonderful job by our track crew. We couldn't do it without them. Lou Sorella says it's about to go down tonight at the raceway. And he also mentions you can't win it if you're not in it. We're talking about... That pick five carryover that will begin in race number one features a low takeout, low 15% take, 20 cent minimum play. And there's that carryover money, $5,032.70 in carryover money. We put an instant guarantee on that pool at $25,000. And uh, you know what? Got my HBI account open. And you know what? Our production team is right on top of this. Uh, up to the second action for the new money involved here, over $11,000 fired in already. Uh, that combining with the $5,000 carryover has us at a pool of over $16,000 now as we take aim at a $25,000 guaranteed pick five pool here in race one. We're 25 minutes away. And yeah, I've done my best to map out a ticket here, and I don't know. It, it, it doesn't seem to be too hard until the final leg. So we're going to look at uh, my uh, pick five ticket idea here that will start up in race number one. It's the HPI bet. Pick five play. Happy to have HPI bet with us on board, sponsoring this go-to wager already. So for me, in the opening leg, I believe number four stays safe. She's the best. Uh, Three-year-old daughter of Tigerama had a solid win there, two back, and then just missed last time out when sitting in the pocket. Uh, again, I believe she's the best, but uh, Lady in Lace did beat her uh, last time out from the trailing spot eight. She did pull before the quarter and make front, and then uh, stay safe, just couldn't make it up through the stretch drive, but she was coming to her, only missing by a neck it's between those two i think uh, you can get through race one by using number four stay safe in the eight lady in lace now over into race number two is where it may get interesting for some for me uh, i'm going to key up the uh, maritime invader now owned by princeton farms inc conditioned by cody henry doug mcnair is going to be on board the qualifier for me says she is good to go uh, this three-year-old daughter of Roll With It Harry, uh, very lightly raced from four starts down in Prince Edward Island, had two wins, and uh, those were her last two parimutuel starts. So both gate to wire where she parked to the opening quarter mile. She's got that early speed to work with. She will be following out some early speed in Twin B Lush. Again, for me, that qualifier says she's good to go. Her own back half in 58-3 and three when pulling from the pocket. Uh, Travis Henry was on board for his brother, Cody, who, who does train. Travis, though, he's uh, sticking with the one. Twin B Lush for his uh, wife, Maddie, who owns and trains that one. So for me, McNair 
on board for Cody Henry, this is a newcomer, number eight, Ocean View Echo, my key to this early pick five. You're getting six to one on the morning line. I don't think you're going to get that with McNair, McNair driving that filly and uh, off that qualifier. A, a very nice trip there. And uh, you look through the program lines on the rest of the field in there, uh, nothing really matches that half mile speed of Ocean View Echo in recent starts for them. So for me, I'm all over. Number eight, Ocean View Echo, race two, my key. We're three deep in the third using uh, the one, Rana Miraggio, a beaten favorite last time out. She did get beat by two, Dazzlin Rosie who stormed home quickly for Ross Batten. I think you got to use those two. I'm also going to include the four coming your way in there. Uh, Austin Sorry with the catch driving assignment for Heather Pickett. Uh, showing some pretty good form. The best start of all, two back, 57-4 and four around London. And uh, that's enough speed to go with that crew. Austin Sorry is catch driving tonight. Austin comes in off a five-win performance here on Monday night. So I'll go with the hot hands of Austin for an upset player in the third with number four coming your way. Got to use the one and two in there. Fourth race, for me, it's Tobin's Terror at a post two. Always in the hunt for trainer Corey Johnson. Nick Stewart staying on to drive there. And then you've got the Robin the ATM, Doug McNair. Uh, likely his choice in there because he did win with Rusty's Flying. Uh, last time out, uh, Rusty's flying, leaving from post four. Todd Aborth will be driving that one for Stu McQueen. Uh, Doug McNair will be driving the three. Robin the ATM for Daniel St. Louis. Daniel St. Louis training uh, three. Robin the ATM. A little bit flat last time out in the late going. Maybe expect a bit more from that mare tonight. Two, three, and four to get on over to race number five. And if we make it to the fifth, we're hitting because we've got the all button. Uh, nothing for me is jumping off the page in there. Uh, you see uh, Doug McNair listed on the two, River Dally. Uh, made a break two back, a rare break at the start, but uh, you know what? River Dally's a good fit. They're all a good fit. Even for me, uh, One Man Army, one of the longer shots in the morning line at a post nine, uh, a decent effort for fourth last time out when missing a month. So just got to get over to race number five with my uh, first four leg selections, and then we've got that all button to hit on the end. 2880. On a 20 cent wager, this is a must play tonight with the carryover in effect. We do have the early pick four, sponsored by SK Realty. To begin at race number four tonight, it's much like uh, my pick five play on the end. We're going to use the two, three, four, and the four. We've got that all button again in race number five. And over to race number six, for me, it's the two. Thunder Romps comes in from Who's Your Park. Shows some pretty good form over there and uh, some pretty good speed as well. 54 and 55 around Hoosier for me. That's like 58, 59 speed for me in London. She's going to be, or he's going to be a key play for me. Uh, raceway debut and I believe half mile debut tonight for number two. Thunder Romps going out for Courtney Robson. Paul McKenzie on board that one, a one time winner. But uh, the form and the speed shown over Hoosier Park south of the border uh, tells me that one can handle that group. Over to race number seven to complete this early pick four, two, three, and eight. If you want to play along, 20 cent wager, $14.40. There is that late pick five to be thinking about that will start up in race number six. These uh, pick five pools going to get bumped up in a big way next week. We've been guaranteeing them at $2,500, but horse players, they've been chasing after them. Uh, since the start of the meet, these are go-to wagers, and you will see a noticeable increase in the guaranteed pools for the pick fives beginning next week. We'll look forward to that. Key in on number two, Thunder Romps there in the sixth. Two, three, eight in the seventh. We're three deep again for races eight, nine, and ten on this late pick five. Twenty cent wager. We're in for sixteen dollars and twenty cents. Uh, there is a key scratch up there in race number nine. That'll be uh, leg four of the pick five, leg two of a late pick four. That starts up in race number eight. In the eighth race for me, we're going to try the one shadow tail to come right back. Number two, sports lover. Great form there for Lindsey Kerr. And uh, number six, Kevin Den Fraudsters, Doug McNair with us tonight. He's got many a live play. I believe, throughout the card. So keep an eye on McNair this evening. Always playable here with anything in London. The ninth race is mentioned number four, Heaven. 
comes out. A newcomer, another one out of Hoosier Park, has scratched from the ninth. So that's got me going with the two, six, and seven. Cena Magician, Lafcada, Nebraska Jack, all great form for the preferred trotting event here in the ninth. One, three, five in the tenth. Getting on over to race number 11, we'll look at four, Moramapo or six, Get Up and Gouda to round out a pick four play on the end of race 11. If you want to play along with that wager, it's a $10.80 on a 20 cent play. Get Up and Gouda, race 11, number six, put a circle around it, Doug McNair on board for the drive. My best long shot play on the night. It comes up in that wide open final leg of the early pick five. Race number five for my long shot play on the night. Don't be afraid to back. Number nine, one man armies. 12 to one in the morning line. Had missed a month prior to his latest start where he tried to go downtown. He just come up a little bit short in the end. Still managed to mile two minutes, one fifth. And that to me is good enough to go with that crew in race number five. Wide open where I did suggest using the all button on that final leg of the early pick five. We've got some best bets now to take a peek at. Best bets for me, my best bet on the night, I am all over and all in on uh, number eight, Ocean View Echo, race number two. Comes in from the Maritimes, uh, the Ontario debut, and she looks good to go off her winning qualifier over Flamborough. Doug McNair on for trainer Cody Henry for Ontario Racing. They've gone to race four, number two, Tobin's Terror, could be a key player in that fourth leg of the pick five. Just missed in her latest, tough to ignore in race four, number two, Tobin's Terror for Ontario Racing. A couple of more best bet selections this evening for Tony Elliott and Lou Sorella. Tony went to the newcomer, Thunder Rumps, in race six. Tony notes this one going first time around a half. Showing good speed, though. I agree. And for Lou, over in the race number seven, he went to the two. Bronak gets Doug McNair on board tonight. Lou says it'll be go time in here for Bronak in race number seven. And that will just about do it for the pregame show. All 12 races featured on HPI. The track condition, great shape considering the winter weather we've had over the last few days. We are a winter track, so uh, we do our best to have... Uh, a track surface that's good to go and, and again a wonderful job by our track team here in getting things set up for this evening. I came in a little bit early they were putting some dry material down towards the inside so could be a fast track if not maybe just a second at the most I think. So we've got that $5,000 plus guarantee to start up the action. Race one the pick five play and uh, you know what? Already over $13,000 now. It was just eleven grand a couple of minutes ago. So the horse players all after this pick five play in London, a go-to wager. And, and again, keep your eyes out for next week as we bump up those guaranteed pools featured on both pick fives here in London. We're going to wish you all the best. Best of luck to our horsemen. Uh, they always put on a great show here this evening. I'm expecting the same tonight, 14 minutes away from race number one. The next time you hear me, uh, we'll be going through the program changes tonight. 14 minutes out from the start of a pick five.